Hello everybody, it is Joel from PC Games N and I'm joined by Phil. Hello. We are back with a, yet another playthrough of Civ 6. They never end. They never end, but this time going to be a little bit different. Last time, uh, as I'm sure you'll remember, we attempted a domination victory with the Germans, but Phil, tell us what we're doing this time. We're going much more peaceful. We're going culture this time. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get the victory because that would require playing right through until well into the modern age when you can do tourism and things. We're just going to try and set the groundwork and we're choosing Mvemba and Nzinga of the Congo. Uh, now, why have you chosen the Congo for this one? Because of the available races in this preview build, he is one of the more culture-focused sieves. What does he have? What bonuses? Well, let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Uh... And Kisi gives him plus two food, plus two production, and plus four for every relic, artifact, and sculpture, and great work of art, in addition to the usual culture. So we we get loads more of everything when we go for the culture yeah. thing. Uh, we receive double great writer, great artist, and great musician, and great merchant points, and our palace has the slots for all their output as well so it's it's quite good sounds lovely it's, sounds like a very cultural sort doesn't yeah, it? yeah we're not going to be doing any sort of um building of any military units there'll be no um catapults this time i wouldn't know and no uh, malfunctioning battering rams either oh, but uh, thank you all for your advice as to how to work the battering rams we do now know dear me um religion i haven't read this far we're not going to be thinking too much about let's religions, just let's just crack in phil come we on we can't flounder Click religion. start game there okay. we go You're getting distracted You're getting distracted so there he is well there we are i suppose we get a unique district and land unit i will find out for us what they do um, so it may not found religions. That is interesting, isn't it? Religion seems to be a really interesting aspect of Civ Six, to be honest. Um, because it was like they, the Phyrexus put a foot in the water in Civ Five with gods and kings, but it wasn't a victory condition, as far as I was aware. So it just sort of happened, and I think contributed towards tourism. Oh, that's interesting. So you gain all belief of any religion that has established itself in a majority of your cities. So your cities can be religious, but you, yeah. you can't instigate that yourself. Yeah. Interesting. Right, let's do it. Let's do a culture. Let's do a culture. Right, right. here we go again. I'm, I'm just going to set... I feel like we've settled that in exactly the same places it? before. So we've got stone nearby and some rice. We're by a river. It's fertile. Let's just, let's just settle. Um... There we go. Banza Congo is go. The warrior, uh, let's go and worry. Worry <laughs> down here uh, and we'll choose. Let's do a scout. Yes. Um, I feel like the scout served us well last time. A little, bit of, yeah. a little bit of wandering. I okay. mean, it, got, it got stuck eventually, but it did, it did at least discover some stuff. Right. Okay, we need to... I've got to think this through slightly more than last time when it was all about <laughs> yeah. let's just batter everyone. Where's the picture of the tank? Um, okay, we get science that allows harvesting of wheat and rice. That's that's quite important for everybody. Sailing is not going to... We can discount sailing, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, mining would be quite good because we've got stone here. Mm. We can build shrines and, and that might end up being henge. useful down the... Great profits, though it's we don't we don't need to be True. focusing on that. I think maybe we. I think mining, mining, probably animal husbandry after that. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, we are mining. What I like about the early game is just how quickly everything goes. Um, there will be barbarians, of course. Though. God, they're there will. They're it's the, so um, annoying. Daniel Day Lewis's next role. There will be barbarians. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm a barbarian yeah. man. Um, He's actually in the studio with us, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, Daniel. Mind how you go. <laughs> as usual, I'll be roundly ignoring all advice from the advisors. Yeah, which uh, is sort of bit us on one of our previous playthroughs when we were hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging? <laughs> he what? He 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 I can't say it. Hemorrhaging. Really? There we go. Hemorrhaging money. <laughs> hemorrhaging uh, money. <laughs> and uh, ended up in debt. But still, still we will <laughs> insist on ignoring her. <laughs> yes, thank you. Cheers. Uh, okay, we've got a scout. I'm going to automate the scout. You can't stop me. Someone got automating. furious in one of our videos for automating warriors, was it? But I don't yeah. Know, did, did we do that? I don't remember. I automated my warrior to explore in the first few turns. Oh, okay. I stand by that decision because 
Why he not? Found, he found some barbarians, and as soon as he did, I took control of them. So, yeah. So there we go. There we go. So you can all just, you know. Right, I can build a monument which starts to generate culture for us. I think I should probably do that think, before even building uh, a builder. Because right. it only takes six. And look, our advisor wants it as well. Yeah, see, we do listen when we want to. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? Let's uh, let's explore the coastline, actually. There's, oh, here we go. The barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to I can't get past her accent, you know. She's Yorkshire, isn't it? She's got a Yorkshire accent. Or risk right? future attacks. Yeah, well, it's yeah, like does, Yorkshire she, by way of Ireland. I don't know. Yeah, it does seem to. It's, it's a bit like um, Russell Crowe in Robin Hood, <laughs> where it vacillates <laughs> between about four different parts of the UK. Um, right. Okay. Uh, oh, that's Ooh, interesting. The spearmen are going to be tricky to take on. Oh, we can get some stuff from there though. There's a tribal village that we can get things from. Let's, so have, let's have some things. things. It's not very cultural, but. You could have made these sacrifices. You can't just look how make quickly a culture we're going without breaking heads. That's turn six we've done. I know we're nearly there, basically. The, um, the scout's not got far though, has he? <laughs> what are you doing? Too close to tribal village. What? Right. Oh, I see. There it is. Yeah. Wait. What? There, oh, there, oh, I see. North. Go on then. Oh, we got a new scout. Well, that's, oh, that's worked, worked well. out brilliantly. Right. Off your trot. Let's automate you, unless you get too close to a bloody tribal village uh you can do that next turn we're so close oh Ooh. there's a barbarian scout there always is though isn't there <sighs> there's always a girl there's always a lighthouse <laughs> and there's always a barbarian scout um i don't know what to do can we just turn barbarians off this time um major defeat yeah we can't set the scout on him I we suppose, need a warrior <laughs> wait i suppose we're gonna have to build a warrior but i think we are that's not going to be done until four turns. It's going to be too late. They're going to run off in a minute. We might as well just let them run off. They're going yeah. to do it anyway. That's the new tactic. We let the scout run off. Or we wait for the barbarians to circle. We'll have a warrior of our own. We'll deal with it then. I think that might be. I think we spent too long chasing them around. and yeah. just We can just let them come to us, I think. Right. Okay. What do we want? We can build a chariot or a water mill. That will be handy because we're on a river and have a rice resource nearby. True say. It's not very cultural, though. I think we've got to just go through the, the the early stuff to get to the really cultural bits. Oh, look, we can get culture from the pyramid. Oh, well, yeah. Should we try That's building tempting, the pyramids straight away? It takes 19 turns, though. Uh, let's do it. Okay, going for it. We're off. We're, We're off and searching running. masonry. Uh, you can once again automate. Oh, good. Oh, Right, so that's the camp then, actually. Okay, well, that's, they're both quite near. That's handy. So they could both be dealt with. I can see the merits of having scouts now. Yeah, to be honest. Uh, maybe. Well, oh, we've, we've oh, met her again. Tamiris. Our old friend Tamiris. She's, a, she's an angry lady. Well, uh, she usually is an angry lady. Do you know what, Tamiris? I think we're going to get on much better this time. I think you're probably right. Despite your horrible scowl, <laughs> it is an honour to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. I think that's okay. We could fit you for one of our pointy hats. That's nice of them. That's, is that... Okay. So that allows them to see our capital, I think, and to see sort of how far we are along with things, which is fine. Does that mean we, we can see theirs? Uh, no. Well, I might be able to ask to go and see theirs. That seems unfair. Um, because of meeting them, our knowledge of writing has advanced us. What about our knowledge of pointy hats? Uh, TBC. Like TBC, okay. Right. Okay. We're going in. Are you? Oh, you bold man. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, we'll oh. have to keep an eye up now there. Now, that's an interesting... Oh, oh my goodness. This is more people than we've met in the whole place. That is true. Time. Harold Sigurdsson. Pleasure the Vikings. to meet you. Vikings. Now, I feel like these guys are not going to be the most peaceful... They might be a bit warlike. He's much more friendly than Tamiris was. It is also an honour to meet you, yeah. Harold Sigurdsson. Um, he's never seen our capital. Tell me of it. Um, okay. Oh, exchanging information. That's fine. Uh, the, our scout just took a very interesting move in exploring by walking back towards the capital. Yeah. Oh, well, look, it's our old friend Pokrovka again, which we laid siege and, in fact, <laughs> laid waste to. <laughs> oh, in Pokrovka. Our, oh, hang on, I fear our... Oh, no, wait. I was going to say our scout might get a bit battered, but yeah. probably a peaceful sort oh, of Oh, Nidoros as well, look. 
Interesting. It's all happened in the first it really 10 has. turns, doesn't it? Right, okay. So we're facing a minor defeat here. What usually happens is that you meet some other barbarians who aren't in an encampment and mm. you get a bit of XP and you level up by the time you get to the base. This time, it's going to be a stalemate because we're going to attack them and then we're going to have to fortify. They're going to fortify. I don't have any combat bonuses against barbarians, so... I don't really know what to do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna fortify and just keep an eye on him. Interesting. Um, until I get another barbarian, I think, and I'm probably gonna have to send him off there. Or maybe the Procrovkans can sort that other camp out. They're busy, though, aren't they? Policies in our government can be of great benefit. Thank you. Now then, for the th <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So it's a, it's a yeah wealth of information. If you've been watching the Let's Play series in previous incarnations, then you'll know that I've ignored the civics tree willfully. This time, I'm probably going to have to pay a bit more attention to it. Uh, foreign trade might be quite good. Mm. Um, I feel yeah, I feel like that's going to be good because we've got a bit of rice and stone to um, yeah, let's do it. And we can build something in our capital. Should we maybe get a settler out? Early um, doors? Probably. Oh, but then we've got all these barbarians. You always wait too long to do the settler and get the second city. Okay, I'm going to buy a barbarian in a minute. A warrior. A warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Playing <laughs> Civ with great Uncle <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I'm going to buy a barbarian and a, a, a warrior in a minute. <laughs> right. Oh. Don't worry, Uncle. Uh -huh. <laughs> Give me the mouse. <laughs> Let's fill a policy slot. Uh, we probably want more production in all cities at this point, yeah, to be that's, honest. That's probably right. Uh, oh, we want that. We definitely, we want, definitely that. want that. Especially for the early game. So That Chief might Dan help us with our, um, with our stalemate. With our problem downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a stalemate now. Uh, it's still not... Not really what I had in mind. Uh, how much does a warrior cost? Let's find out. No, not with faith. Um, hundred. It's a lot, isn't it? Hundred gold. I could send a slinger out. They're only ninety. I'm gonna have to. It's a bit, a bit of a shame, but that's gonna take nine, is it? As many as nine. <laughs> All right, let's go there then. I think that's got them absolutely sorted now, and then we'll take them back up there. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Um, yeah, well, I did already tell you, but... <laughs> oh, I see. It's because they've moved there now. All right, well... Just... Well, I mean, it's not complicated. Just start... Make a start, <laughs> and when you get nearer, we'll sort it out. Sir, news from the front. <laughs> <laughs> Someone stepped on my dial. <laughs> see, see, they've moved now. You could have just gone there. You, it'd take you another eight turns. I wish all Civ was like this. Just so fluid, quite carefree. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the differential in time between the early turns and the later turns is extraordinary. That's great. Um, a scout needs orders because he is near a barbarian scout. I've never... Batter him. Oh, Batter him. Yeah, let's do it. A scout on scout warfare. Oh. No, you're all right, I think. Oh, I think it's because we've... Thank you. It's because we've entered Nidoros' territory. Uh, only incidentally. Yeah, but I don't I don't think they like it. It won't declare a war, but we won't be like Bezzies. I might have to do... Oh, no, sorry. That's bloody Norway. We're allowed in there, aren't we? Are we? No, we're not. We no. don't have open borders. We have an information exchange. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't realise that was... I thought it was a city state. Say sorry. <laughs> um, can we declare friendship, perhaps? Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that's gone badly. Not for he all seems, the He seems. Enough. It's gone badly, but he's not. He doesn't look furious he's about gone, it. No. <laughs> no. No. You. We're going to kill you Don't all. Don't be silly. Aww. Okay. Right. Well. Got um, some guns on him, hasn't he? Yeah, he's a big lad. They feed him well in um, <laughs> in the dogs. So that, all that mead and raw ox leg. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, I've had complaints before about chasing scouts around for <laughs> turn after turn, but it's scout on scout, so the movement is, is roughly equal. I suppose you could get them involved as well if it, nah, if it came to it. Oh, oh he's... you would do that, wouldn't you? Classic scout move. Oh, excuse me, a bit sniffly today. 
Well, it's, it's winter time now. Yeah, I know. I think I, I think I fought the cold off in record time. Well, that's good. Uh, we all got a bit cold in the office, didn't we, lately? Yeah, Thursday, Friday wasn't... Anyway, this is very boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we're chasing around scouts. Like, we have to talk about he was ill in the oh, office. Oh, cold, yeah. Right. True. Uh, I'm going to do it because it'll... It'll, um... Oh, you've you've hemmed him in there. Yeah. Oh, Why don't oh. you just batter him? Cheers, cheers, lads. Oh, there we brutal. go. Brutal. Do not mess. I feel like a domination Vikings. victory with the Vikings will be a fun one to try and do. Yeah. Uh, I'll set them to automate once more. I'll get you... Probably, the, probably these barbarians the have done... They've just sat in their camp waiting for their inevitable destruction. It's less violent than it was before. I wonder if they're more violent if you're a violent sort of warlike I don't mm. know I can't prove that um, we should probably go theories with great somewhere. uncle Phil incense copper rice which we already have and cattle was that recommended settlement location yeah huh not noticed that before so if we go right up to the top there I mean it's quite nearby isn't it but mm, with, with yeah we could we could yeah I suppose so she, oh diamonds mm. we Ooh. could um Expand our, our capital so southerly. Yeah. Southerly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, put one on that most northern recommended tile. That might be. Let's nice, do it. Only takes four turns as well. There you go. <whistles> okay. Uh, Builder? Yeah. Yeah. It's about time. Not very cultural so far, but it's just laying You've the got it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, In a literal sense. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I saw quite... Opportunity to develop a formal trade route between two cities. Um, probably not right now. <laughs> because <laughs> She's probably not wrong. No. Uh, that in a minute, that yeah. might be a good idea. Um, let's see what we've got here. We I don't want that. I don't think we want to swap anything out at this point, do we? Do yeah, we? Yeah, no. We don't have really. any trade Particularly routes. not if we're going for the pyramids in a few Yes, turns. exactly. We need that. Um, yes, fine, good. Uh, what I'm worried about, though, is that I've got a scout, a settler here. Yes, I agree. That is a worry. And, and a, a horseman, a Bojack horseman. He's. Oh, Phil's just belching. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my best for that not to be an on mic belch. Uh, he's he's so badly injured, though. Uh, 49. You don't gold. have enough to buy anyone. Everyone, oh. oh. Mm. I always scrimp on military, unless I'm really. Um, Going for the victory. Oh, it's interesting, isn't it? I don't know what it's to so, do. These early turns are so interesting. Right. I, what, there's so, almost to... only wrong decisions to be made. <laughs> I'm going to have to retreat him. Yeah, I think you're right. Get him out of harm's way. He's going to have quite high movement, though. Uh, but, of course, I spent my the gold that I'd accumulated on, on these, these guys, who are now miles away. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Uh, Not really. That's still going to be a stalemate. <laughs> You're going to take six turns. Um, it's a while, isn't it? In six turns, I still won't have enough for to to actually buy another unit, though. And it's, no, you won't. It's going to be a stalemate there, so I'm I'm going to have to do it. It's the barbarians. They shake everything up. Um, I might even have to. No, I'm. No, no. Come now. No. How, what would? Oh, okay, he's done it. I'm sending them there, so I think I can do a ranged attack that far. Next yeah, time. yeah, I think you can. But never mind all that because it's time to choose a civic. Uh, we can have craftsmanship, which that seems might like a decent idea. Yeah, that might help. Or uh, not. Early empire reduces the cost of pushing the tile. That might help a lot. Production towards settlers would have helped. Mm, open borders might be all right. Mysticism, I. Oh, we can now we're, we're already built. We're going for the pyramids, though. Two, yeah. two wonders early doors seems a bit much. Great scientists and prophets, we don't really need. Uh, I think it's probably that. Okay, because we're going to want some builders, aren't yeah. We? Okay, won't take too long, right? Let's keep an eye on them. Oh, you've sent a trade delegation, I decorated that thing. Yeah, thank you very much, Tamiris. We That's are, great. We are best friends. Doesn't look like she's saying excellent, does she? But no. Uh, it's like she's saying, I will kill you in your sleep, but that's fine. Oh, oh they're in our, they're in our yeah, capital, Yeah, they've taken they? that. Oh, I've lost a settler again. Oh. Oh. Oh, my word. 
Okay, I think we'll probably leave it there for now. Uh, the Congo adventure continues. Um, so join us for the second installment of this when we uh, try to pull things back and move closer towards some form of culture domination. Uh, so until next time, thank you for watching. Uh, do hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you'd be so kind. And we will see you next time. It's it isn't, like it isn't going well. I mean, like you try and go for a culture victory.